We researchers have a big responsibility to conduct research that is not only practical, collaborative, but also very specifically geared towards live policy questions, so that policymakers, particularly in lower-income countries, can take decisions on tax reform that are based on evidence that is specific to their, to their own contexts. working on tax and development for 15 years, uh, 10 of which with the ICTD. I started working on tax uh, coming from an aid effectiveness perspective. Um, I was interested particularly in the relationship between aid and tax, and my PhD thesis at the time asked whether aid provides a disincentive for tax revenue mobilization. Well, the answer from my research was very much no. In fact, aid can even help uh, domestic revenue mobilization in, uh, in the context where I was working, Ethiopia, and in other contexts. The motivation for my research was very much the huge financing gap that lower-income countries were facing at the time and still face today to support their development strategies. Lower-income countries today operate on about uh, 15 percentage points of their GDP in tax revenue. And that is in contrast with 38% that higher income countries are able to collect in tax revenue from their economies. Now, what that means in practice is that lower income countries operate on less than half the budget of higher income countries as a proportion of their economies. That is not nearly enough to fund public services like health, education, but also to fund uh, things like digital and physical infrastructure or public policies that we know are really good for things like gender equality, for example. Uh, paid parental leave, uh, free or highly subsidized childcare, and so on. The challenge is how do we increase revenue quite dramatically in a way that is equitable, sustainable, and efficient? The ACTD has been producing a lot of relevant evidence on this, and we now know that in lower income countries in particular, much of the additional revenue needs will come from taxing high net worth individuals more uh, and more effectively taxing larger companies more effectively, that will include um, revising the tax incentive schemes and exemptions that are now widely available, particularly those that benefit larger actors more. It will also come from improvements in tax administration, and many of those improvements are enabled by the process of digitization that has been going on not only in tax administration, but in governments and in the economy more broadly in most lower income countries. We now have a lot of evidence on how to design tax reform in a way that is equitable, efficient and sustainable. But of course, tax reform is not only a technical process. It is also one that is deeply embedded in the relationship between citizens and the state. How the state exercises its authority, how citizens perceive it, and how willing they are to cooperate or resist tax reform. Paying attention to that relationship is essential not only to equitable tax systems, but also to sustainability of revenue mobilization efforts over time. At the ACTD, we're going to keep producing research to answer exactly those questions. How to increase tax revenue quite dramatically, from taxing higher income individuals and larger companies more effectively, both internationally and nationally. How to improve tax administration and make the most of the vast amount of digitized data that is now available. How to make sure that in the process of formalization, those actors that are coming into the formal tax system from a purely informal perspective are brought in in a way that is fair and proportionate to their uh, business size and characteristics. And we're going to keep doing all of that with a very strong focus on producing research that is practical, collaborative, multidisciplinary, so that we can provide the best possible evidence base for policymakers to inform their decisions and design tax reform in a way that is equitable and sustainable.